All right, it's time for another truck update. Um, I broke something good this time. <laughs> um, long story short, I've been having some ignition trouble on my engine. And I did some work on it about a week ago, and I got it running just right. Actually, it was a, first it was a carburetor issue, because I got some dirt up inside of it. Then I rebuilt it, um, and then I made a dummy move. I had the... Uh, left bank here, the spark plug wires, the cylinders one through four, off to the side. So I was looking at the spark plugs and changing the valve cover gasket. I was doing just work on, in general, this left side of the engine. And I got excited about, you know, I was like, it's finally fixed, it's going to run good. I went to start the truck up with all four of these not on the spark plugs. They were dangling down here. So, as you can imagine, they got all wrapped up down there in that spinning wheel of death. One got chopped in half. It yanked on the other three so hard, it not only, get this, it ripped off the cap out of the distributor, got the timing out of whack, took the belt off the alternator and water pump, and so I fixed, you know, I replaced the spark plug wire, I fixed the belt, I found out later the timing was off after about a day. And it's still been running like crap, and I couldn't figure it out. I'm gonna find out. I just test my vacuum advance. I busted my vacuum advance too, all because I left 40 wire dangling down here and getting caught up in the fan. Can you believe that? So, oh well. Well, it ain't gonna happen again because I tell you what, that sure did wreck stuff up. And the truck's been driving like poo ever since, and it's been making me upset. Like, why? I built this thing in the summer. It should be running great. So, oh yeah, and I got. A little leak from my thermostat housing right down here. I uh, got a new O-ring stick in that, but I decided to just suck on the vacuum advance, basically. If you can suck on this and this, this hose right here, and you can't, like, you can peel a, a, a vacuum, and you should be able to watch the um, advancing arm underneath move, and <laughs> listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that. It, it's just pulling air. <laughs> the diaphragm's ripped. So, that is my problem, right there. I'm actually kind of glad because it's this instead of spark plug wires, because I need to replace the wires. Um, but I don't have the money to do the spark plug wire setup that I want to do right now. And I wasn't wanting to buy a new set of wires at this moment. You know, it's like 160 bucks, or because I want to get the crimping tool, I want to route them just right with the uh, nice little bolt-on things for the valve covers, and it's... The tool itself is like 60 bucks. You know, a vacuum advancing is like $15. So it's like, this is, this works for me. So, yep, that's where we're at. So.